as I click start recording. This is going to be CLG FC episode 56.6. We're going to continue with the FIFA World Cup. Um, we got Netherlands, Korea coming up. Um, <clears throat> we instant resulted the CLG Henlin game, and we won 7-0. Uh, where is, uh, here we go. World Cup round of 16. Let's go to matches, please. Go here. That is, oh, the other one's not available yet. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll continue on. Let's press space. So, I have six active recruiting focuses completed. I am right. And he, he found no recommendations. Uh, what am I searching for currently? Is center backs, right? <clears throat> uh, I think those are all of our positions, right? There we go. Age between 14, oh, and this guy. Because uh, we want the defensive midfielder, the midfielder, the three attacking. So any <clears throat> of these positions. Transfer value is at most a thousand. What about zero? Can I get it down to zero? sort by age and then go here there's a lot of players at 15 he's on 50 pounds per week oh we have he's signed so can I can I not exclude players that are already on our uh, team <laughs> Uh, I don't know. But uh, can I get reports? Scout. <clears throat> Scout player for one week. What's our scouting budget? Okay. 2,600, that's not bad. 400 pounds for, for that many players. And then uh, report, scout, 1.1K. Just as much, this, the, these last uh, these last few. Report, so 190. So I'm spending about 2K just to scout these players. That's fine. Oh, I got to change uh, the title and the category. <laughs> Whoops. To be fair, I haven't been on this that long. There you go. Did that not 
save. It didn't update on my, there we go. I was going to say it didn't update on my, uh, on the bottom, but it did now. Okay. Or the stream manager, whatever you call it. Anyway. Um, so we're going to scout those players. It's about 50 players. Looking for talent, young talent. <laughs> that is too good. <laughs> there's a there's a tweet. <laughs> it's it's a it's a quote tweet of Biden. Saying I'm going to put Japan and Korea back together. And somebody goes, you have my vote. I wasn't familiar with your game. And it's a poster of the 2002 World Cup. <laughs> when it was hosted in Korea and Japan. That's funny. That's very good. That, that's excellent. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, that's good. <clears throat> oh, man. So. Mm. Twinkle resigned. You'll love to see it. Pretty cheaply as well. Unlike Sheamus, who's now 13% of the fucking wage budget. <laughs> Christ. Uh, Italy have oh wow Italy went down to 10 men 69 minutes in and England scored a 91st minute goal to go ahead and get into the semifinals so Sweden <clears throat> will be playing England in the World Cup semifinal we're going to be going to that game and then, of course, you've got Korea and the Netherlands. Netherlands trying to make the World Cup semifinal for the fourth time, I believe. Uh, Korea trying to do it for just the second. So, I believe it's been... I'm going to look that up just to confirm real quick. But I'm pretty sure uh, they've been to the semifinals, what? <clears throat> They oh no I'm sorry they yeah they've they've been to the semifinals four five times actually wow five times for the Netherlands runners up in seventy four and seventy eight uh fourth place in ninety eight uh third place runners up in twenty ten and then. So that's, yeah, five, and then third place in 2014. Wow, five times to the World Cup uh, quarterfinals. Last time these two faced each other, 1998. Netherlands won 5-0, I believe. I believe the last time these two faced each other. I, got, I would have to see. Uh, Korea played Brazil. Got knocked out by Brazil, four to one. Who they have in their group? They did not have the Netherlands. They had Portugal, Ghana, and somebody else. 2018 World Cup. <clears throat> did Korea make the 2018 World Cup? Yes, they had Sweden, Mexico, Germany, and they didn't get out of the group. I remember that one. <clears throat> 2014. Uh, Korea. Had Russia, Belgium, Algeria, and they finished bottom. 2010, which was South Africa. Korea lost to Uruguay in the 
knockouts. Who is in their group? Argentina, Greece, and Nigeria. Well, I think the expectation is if you've given that group, you get out of it if you're Korea. Always a struggle, though, for Korea. Um, they had Switzerland, France, and Togo in the 20, 2006 World Cup. I forgot Togo made a World Cup. 2002, they hosted. Right? Yeah, they hosted. And they were in... Uh, they had the United States, Portugal, and Poland. And they topped the group. Who did the U.S. lose to? Oh, the U.S. lost to Poland. Fucking hell, of course they did. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, Korea had a sudden... Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 after extra time, sudden death goal against Italy. Then they won the penalty shootout versus Spain. Then they lost to Germany. So they didn't play the Netherlands there. So that literally, 90, 98, 94 was the last time they played each other, these two sides? Really? Yeah, they were in the group stage. Netherlands won that one 5 no. Korea didn't... Korea had a single point. They drew... Mex, uh, they drew... Belgium won one, yeah. So the last time these two faced each other in a world in, in an international stage was 1998, 28 years ago. <clears throat> How about that? Well, from the game, right? Because 2026, obviously, to 98. So at the time of the game, it had been 28 years. But the Netherlands and Korea. Korea really uh, smash and grabbed previously. The Netherlands have won four on the bounce. Korea have won four of their last five, dropping their final group stage game before moving on in a round of 32 and round of 16 to get here. Netherlands looking for their sixth semifinal appearance. Korea uh, just their second. But it would be Korea's first semifinal appearance since 2002. This is already their first quarterfinal appearance since 2002. <clears throat> and uh, the Dutch, you have to say, heavily favored in this one as well. So here's Yeom Min Sung to take this throw in Jung Won Hee. Yeom Min Sung, that's a good ball. And it's cut out here. It's saved for Choi Hyung Jin, but he loses the ball to Van Lu, and Van Lu will bring it forward. Van Lu, good ball to Beher. Van, Van Eliuk. Yong Mun Sun put, cuts that out. This should be the end of the... It's not a kickoff highlight. Sorry, so... <coughs> I thought for a second it was. Here's Ko Jung Hyun. Yong Min Sun. And that pass cut out by Jansen. Here's, uh, here's Jansen. <clears throat> the Bayer, Drissen then. Jansen finds Berger. Good touch. Berger could put the touch up, and he's fired it w way wide. It doesn't even go out for a goal kick. It'll go out for a throw. <clears throat> Here's Delange. Van Lu. Springer. Berger. Over to Jansen. It's headed clear, but it falls to van der Kirchhoff. Here's Janssen. Drissen. Back for Janssen. 1-2 here. Lovely stop. The pocket of space, and Janssen scores the Dutch lead. Eight minutes on. They just look so much more comfortable in the ball in the opening uh, moments of this game. Right, this is a lovely 1-2 that Janssen played here. Or that Drissen and Van Lute. Like, that is just really good ball movement. And Jensen was given the space. Uh, Jang Sun Jin, who was the hero in the previous game, could not stop that one. And the Dutch have taken a 1-0 lead. Here's the kickoff. Kang Sun Ho to Choi Ki Bong. And he's out of options. It'll go back to Choi Dae Su. To An Sung Kyo. Ko Jung Hyun. <coughs> to Yeom Min Sun. Jung Wong Hee, that might go out. Jung Wong Hee's actually kept it in. Jung Wong Hee, oh, he's... The, the pass is missed, and now Van Lu 
It was the right idea, but he just didn't hit it well enough. Van Lu coming back the other way. So with the Netherlands, Van Ellick. And the cross. That is taking a big deflection. Troy Desu will clear it. Delange here will run it down. And that is a good tackle by Jung Won Hee. Dutch lead. 13th minute now. Jensen. That's a good ball in. Van Yelden gets up. Bayer might get up with it. It's still loose in the box. What a save from Jang Sun Jin. To keep it a one goal game. <laughs> Here's Van Lu with the corner for the Dutch. Berger. Guys. Oh, got himself in such the right position. It's a, it's a difficult angle if you're trying to put it near post. He did, and it went over. That's always a difficult. But that ball really needs to go towards the back corner, the back post. Almost like a Ben Watson-type FA Cup final-type goal. Uh, you know, you make that run across near post, and you just head it on, and you just want to redirect it. Here's Bayer, though, in 1-1-1, one, 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 and Jang Soon Jin will put it over the bar. It'll be a, a corner for the Netherlands. <clears throat> Dryason. It's headed away. It'll come back to Dryason. Oh, Dryason could have a go himself, but he's hit it way over. <coughs> 22nd minute, free kick here. Dryason to take it. Comes in. It's headed around. It's still loose. Van Lu gets to it. And there is Jang Sun Jin, who will love it if you look at the momentum it's all Netherlands here's Yuki Su Kim Cheng So back to Yuki Su Yuki Su oh it's taken off the ball and now it's just had it it's just booted out I thought maybe the Dutch could break off it but instead Young Min Soon will grab it uncontested Young Min Soon can't get it by Berger he's dribbled it away from himself and now Delange will take it here's Van Ellick Dryasen. Back to Van Eilig. Springer. <coughs> Dryasen. Dryasen with a good triple forward for Jensen, who's moved inside. Jensen for Van Eilig. Back to cross. Jensen can't get ahead to it. We'll go out for a corner. Kim Jang soon will put it behind. Dryas in here to take this corner. It's a wicked ball in. It's headed clear. It's going to fall for Jensen. It deflects around. Van Lu comes down with it again. The Dutch, the pressure's not alleviated. It takes a deflection off Choi Hyung Jin. And it will go out for another Dutch corner. Quarterfinal of the World Cup. Van Lu. Oh, that's... Almost was a really good header, but uh, it was headed away. Here's Van Lu in space. Back post. Dryas and Kim Chang soon will get ahead to it. Van der Kirkhoff will have it on the left. Good dribble by his man. And this one going in. And Chang Soon Jin will grab it before Bergen can get his head to it. The pressure just alleviated. Here's Choi Hyung Jin with it now for the Koreans. Ko Chung Hyun. Van Eilek down. No intention to stop play. And this one is just going to go out for a goal kick. And then Van Eilek will be able to get treatment. So here's the goalkeeper, Jensen. Wim Jensen. <coughs> to take uh, to take the goal kick. Here's Berger now with it. An Sung Kyo will pick his pocket for Ko Jung Hyun. Back to Am. Um, Sun Kyo, Yum and Sun on the left. Chung Won Hee, and it's headed away by Delange. Van Eilek. Back to Delange. Oh, Yuki, that was. That was certainly a tackle. Same with that one. Those tackles don't really go anywhere. Yuki Su, thankfully, stopped this momentum because it looked like at first he was going in pretty hard, and I thought that could be an ugly one, but. Thankfully got away with it. Delange. Berger. Springer. 
Back for DeLonge. Good ball movement from the Dutch. On the left-hand side, Dryasen. Jansen. Jansen. What can he do? He can cut back here. He's got options. Oh, but he's, he's absolutely slotted at home through the five-hole of Jang Soon Jin on the tightest of angles. A true finisher's finish, that one. Such a tight angle. So little chance to score from there. And somehow, Jensen has found the back of that. He's got a brace, and we're only a half hour gone. That's a brilliant finish from him. And the Dutch have a comfortable 2-0 advantage. Kim Chang Su, Troy Day Su, An Sun Kyo. The Koreans need an, a, an answer. They need a reply. They haven't had any momentum in this game. That free kick could be the spark. It's not. We, we go to Insahada. That's actually the first five minute block of momentum the Koreans have had. They have been dominated this game. Jung Won He, Ko Jung Hyun, to Yeom Min Sun who's been kept very quiet in this game. He was very crucial in Korea's win in the previous round. That's a good cross, and Springer will cut it out. On Sung Kyo will get it. Jung Won Hee back for Kang Sung Ho. He has a crack, and it is over the bar. <clears throat> Kim Chang Su with the free kick. He's going for goal, and it skips off the top of the net. Much better from the Koreans the last 10 minutes. But still the Dutch lead. They have the ball here. Berger. <clears throat> to Delange. Up for Van Lu. They just passed so eloquently the Dutch right now. Van Eilek. Or Eilek. Sorry. Uh, Springer. Back to Van Eilek. Delange. Berger. Did he stay on is the question. Looks like he did. It's going to fall back to Springer. Dryasen, Jansen, who's been phenomenal this game so far. Oh, what a move to get by his man. And that time, the dribble was a little too much. Trui de Su will clear it, but it goes out for a corner. But now the Dutch attacking yet again. Dryasen here to take this corner. It's whipped in. Bayer got a hand or head to it, but it's over the bar. For a goal kick. <coughs> Dryas in with a free kick here. Right on the edge of normal time. That one's headed over by Springer. It will be a goal kick. Two minutes of added time in the first half for the two goals. That's it. We are into that added time now. Chan Soon Jin will get us restarted. Oh, Samson will, will uh, head it down. Here's Bayer. By himself. But that could be a pen. It's right on the edge of the box. The question is, is it going to be a pen? Well, how's the keeper walked right past the, the ref? VAR is having a look. <clears throat> and it is in the box. It is a pen. It's definitely a foul. The question was just, where was it? Here's Jensen, the complete hatching, it's saved! It's saved, it's come back, and Jang Soon Jin has denied Jensen his hat trick. In the first half, he's going for a hat trick in the opening half, and it's been denied by the Korean keeper, who has been phenomenal this tournament. It has to be said, but 2.39 on the XG to .08. He's 14 shots to 2, 70% possession to 30. The Koreans just completely outmatched here. <clears throat> Van Ayuk is taken off for that injury. And we are back underway with the second half of this one. <clears throat> Korea would love a response. <clears throat> They've done very well to get to this stage of the tournament. But right now, looking nowhere near... To, oh, that is a pretty wayward header. Samson's given up a cheap corner. Here's Yuki Su. 
to take the corner. That's whipped in. Vander Kirkhoff gets ahead to it. And Willems will take it. And actually just booted it upfield. An Sung Kyo will come down with it. Gives it back to Choi Dae Su. And now the Koreans trying to build again. Kim Chang Chang Su. Nice ball out right for Choi Ki Bong. Choi Ki Bong, can he get the cross in? Yes, he can. And back there. Oh. Jensen will gather the header. It was a pretty strong header. That's probably the best chance the Koreans have had. It's a first shot on target as well. All game. Here's Delange. Willems. Berger. Van Lu Finds a beautiful ball to Jensen, who's in so much space. The Koreans stretched out of shape. Jensen. Jensen's cross is put out for a corner. Dryasen to take this corner for the Dutch. That's a great one whipped in. Bayer just beaten to it by Choi Su. <coughs> Here's Dryasen to whip in this free kick. Bayer gets ahead to it, but Jang Soon Jin will glove it down. He's got an, an 8.0, by the way. They're losing 2-0. He's got an 8.0, Jang uh, uh, Sun Jin. So, really, it has to be said, has been a, a phenomenal player. That's a bad giveaway. Yuki Su has it now. Yuki Su's in. Can Yuki Su score? No. Jensen with the save. It was a big chance for the Koreans to get one back. They're going to make a substitution. But that should have been... Oh, that's a wicked cross. It's coming. Yuki Su in the box. Oh, he had a, he had a man. He, he had a man here. He had a, he had a man further back in the box. He should have maybe given it to him. It would have been a clearer shot. Yuki Su here could have it. Is he off sides is the question. I don't know. The flag has The whistle hasn't gone. The flag hasn't gone up. Korea's still pressuring. Kang Sun Hyo. That has actually come off Vander Brink. And it will be a corner for the Koreans. Yuki Su to take the corner. They took it short last time. This time they do the same. Back to Yuki Su. Choi Ki Bong. Willems picked up the run brilliantly. And it's punted out towards midfield. So <clears throat> here's Choi Ki Bong. Kim Chang Su. That's a good cross in. Back post. Delange gets to it. Willems boots it clear. Lee Byung Min. Back to Eon Min Sun. Back to Lee Byung Min. Back to Eon Min Sun. Back. I was going to say for a second, it might go back here. Young Min Sun is going to run it down. It actually deflects back to Young Min Sun. Oh, wow. These two playing catch with each other. And Dryson eventually just cuts it out. Now Korea can be called on the break. Uh, Netherlands breaking forward. Plenty of options. Vanderbrink here. Vanderbrink taking it forward. His man's offside. Vanderbrink might take it himself. And he scores himself. Brian Vanderbrink has put the Dutch on the brink of their sixth. Semi-final appearance at the World Cup. <clears throat> Korea committed forward. Vanderbrink took it himself. It was really a terrible run by the striker because he was so offside. The defender could had, could just try and stand up the Vanderbrink without any repercussions. Vanderbrink still with the quality to score from about 18 yards. And the Dutch are 3-0 to the good with a half hour to play. <clears throat> a hell of a run from Korea. Uh, how is that a free kick? He looked like he he looked like that was the cleanest tackle ever. Here's another free kick for the Dutch. And Lou back post. It's down and cleared. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a Korean fan, you're proud of this team's run. Just like if you're Sweden, you're proud that they got to the semifinal, even if they do lose to England. But uh, here's Vandenbrink, Willems, Yeoman soon cuts that out nicely. Jang Soon Jin. Oh, that is a bad pass by him. And a shot comes in. And what a save from Jensen Jin. He's saved his graces a little bit here. It is a corner by Van Lu. 
headed away. And that's a 17 shots, 10 on target for the Dutch. Yeoman Sun just gave it right to an opponent. Here's Dryasen now. Oh, Kim Jang Sun. Kim, Kim Sun Gyo. Or Gyu, sorry. I had, took it out off him brilliantly, but it goes out for a corner. <clears throat> Yuki Su here. Now with an opportunity. Maybe the Koreans want to get a consolation goal here. Comeback might be too far gone. Yuki Su, is he offside? Yes, he is. The flag's going up. Samson, Vander Kirkhoff back to Samson. <clears throat> 70th minute now for the Dutch. Dryasen to Willems. Back to Delange. Delange. Dryasen in plenty of space and another save from Jang Soon Jin. Van Lu takes this corner, and it's cleared away. Jang Sun Jin still has an 8.2. Dryson, the captain for the Dutch, does as well. Yeah, I almost want to see if, uh, even though they're losing 3-0, if uh, Jang Sun Jin can get player of the match. That'd be funny, I think. This shows you how well he's had to do to keep Korea even remotely close to this game. Kang Sun Hyo, back to Lee Byung Min. Has a go! And it's way wide. Here's Bryant to launch. <coughs> Springer, Brandt. Jansen, Samson, Dryasen, Vander Kirkhoff. He's running it down the left very nicely. Back to Dryasen for Vander Brink. Vander Brink, it's cleared away. Final 10 minutes of regulation. That one's cut in. Yeoman Sun will give it up to Yuki Su. Yuki Su forward. Kim Jong Sun will take it down. <clears throat> Back for Lee Byung Min. Did Yoon Chang Yong stay on sides? No. Otherwise, that would have been a brilliant ball over the top. He had just drifted off. Delange, Springer, Brandt, winner plays England in the semi-final, right now that looks to be the Dutch, they have less than 10 minutes of regular time left, plus whatever added time we've got, Kim Sung, oh that is a bad pass, Willems is just going to clean that up and they're going to go forward, Lee Byung Min at least wins it back off of him, Ko Jung Hyun, for Choi Dae Su. Choi Dae Su. <coughs> Kang Sung Hyo. Yoon Chang Yong. What can he do here? The cross in. It could be in. Oh, and it's just cleared. Vanderbrink puts that out for a throw for Korea. Here's Dryasen with a free kick. He goes for it, and that's a great save from Chang Sung Jin. That's a phenomenal, to, to hold on to that as well. Yuki Su now. Lee Byung Min over the top. Kim Jong Soon looked way off sides. And uh, yeah, the flag does go up. Miles off sides, that one. Here's Brands. Delange, Willems, DeGroff. The Gruff coming in. Vander Brink could have it. Chang Soon Jin is there to take it. <clears throat> Here's Vander Brink. Great turn from Vander Brink. Vander Brink keeping the ball. Vander Brink, the turn, the cutback for Dryasen. Yu Chang Young pushed him off the ball, but Delange will pick it up. Brands has it now. We are at the end of normal time. We have three minutes of added time. Willems here. 
Oh, that's in, and I think he's off. The flag is up on the far side for Bayer. VAR is going to check the offsides. But it certainly looked offsides in real time. <clears throat> and yes, it is offsides. Oh, he's not even close, mate. He's not even close. He's miles off. <laughs> he's miles off. So. <clears throat> Maybe some more added time for the VAR check, but this one's going to come back Korea's way. Bayer with it now for the Dutch. Willems. Willems is in. He's not being challenged. Willems. That's a ball that's deflected in. That should be an own goal. And it will. Young Min Soon has been excellent all tournament for Korea, but he's given up the own goal. The final goal that Korea will give up was 5 0 the previous time. These two teams met 28 years ago. It is 4 0 now off that own goal. <clears throat> A cruel way to go out. But the Koreans will be in the quarterfinal stage. <coughs> Yong Min Sun for Yoon Chan Yang. Ko Jung Hyun. Forward Yuki Su might be off. It's going to go all the way through to the Dutch keeper, Jansen. 60 seconds left. We don't really need to play any additional time on top of the three minutes. I mean, it's 4 0. This one's going to roll through for Jansen. The whistle should go. And the Dutch are going to be through to their sixth. World Cup semi-final on three of the previous occasions they have made the World Cup final. They will have a date with the English to try and make it a fourth from six. <clears throat> the English trying to make their first World Cup final since 1966. The whistle will go and it is the Dutch that are through. 20 shots to seven. 13 to 2 on target. 2.83 to 0.38 on the XG. Just really possession 71 to 29. The Koreans really didn't have a chance. Weren't expected to do anything in this game. Didn't. Player of the match will go to Rude Dryasen with his uh, two assists. But uh, I'm sorry, player of the match actually goes to Jop Janssen with his two goals. Uh, who was subbed off in the 53rd minute. But I mean, commiserations to Jang Sun Jin had played incredible had an 8.2 and still they conceded four goals and he played incredible it just shows you just the, di the difference in the quality between the two sides but i'm sorry korea's not uh netherlands aren't playing england they are going to be playing uh who are they playing they're playing spain oh i'm sorry it's a date with spain for the netherlands so a rematch of the 2010 world cup is coming to <clears throat> the Netherlands, so or is coming to I should say the 2026 World Cup. So Sweden, England, Spain, Netherlands. It's all European semifinals here. But the Netherlands are through. We got to get to those semifinals. Uh, so let's see how they fare. We've got an hour 20 minutes left, so I I do want to get through. It's going to be tough to get through uh, the final because you've got Sweden, England, Spain, Netherlands, and then you got another week of processing to get to the final. So, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Spain through to face. I'm sorry, Netherlands through to face Spain. Sweden will face England. Should be two good games, two good semifinals Saturday and Sunday, and then it's a week off until the. Uh, final matches uh, on the, the following Saturday and Sunday. We've got about five or six friendlies left. Oh, God, seizing fast. Sorry. <clears throat> Actually, I beg your pardon. We have about eight friendlies left. So we're going to instant result all of them. No worries about that. Uh, 
but looking forward to it. Um, and to finishing the World Cup and seeing who, just who, is going to be our World Cup champion, of course. So, all right. Snicky is pull. Uh, Snicky has pulled their ankle ligaments, so they are out for a few weeks. I believe it's like four to five weeks or something like that. I don't know, but uh, other than that, we're doing okay. So. Uh, let's see. Of course, the, you can see the Saudis offering just a shit ton of money uh, for for people. Okay. Uh, the high volume of quickness training they've been asked to do. I mean, you 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 literally have. So when the fuck do they ask you to do quickness training, mate? You're literally overall outfield physical. You've done one physical training here. And it's because it's preseason. Like, you need that. You know what I mean? Like, come on. So. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, let's, uh, we'll be out of here. We're going to do, over here, we're going to do community outreach. And then over here, I want to do team bonding if I can. Why can't I not do any of this shit? Uh, the fuck? Oh, this is right here. Uh, can I put rest? Yeah, we got rest. Community outreach team bonding's right here, and then we got this tournament here, and then let's do uh. Uh, there, and then let's do right here as well. <clears throat> so, and then this, this right here, I believe is the start of the season. Yeah. So we're not too far off. We just want to get the, uh, You know, the players to gel together, I think. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> I did not mean to open that tab. I meant to open these three tabs. And this one as well. Maybe that one. <laughs> uh, let's keep moving on. Let's keep processing. Getting closer to our uh, goal. Of the World Cup semifinals. So. All right. Did that say? What did that say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
So, they want frack real bad. <clears throat> They're not offering a ton of money. Like, why would I even entertain the idea of that offer? Like, you know what I mean? So, this makes no sense. It's no sense. They're not coming for our players. They're not going to buy our players. We're just going to decline everything. <clears throat> so, yes, we can do so. <clears throat> My God. All right. What we got here? Wait, weekend training. How many days we got to the World Cup? We are, we've got one day. We're about to take over to it, actually. All right, cool. So we've got Sweden, England. <clears throat> we should get through that one. And Spain and the Netherlands. We should get through those two games. We'll quick, we'll quick result the friendly as well. And then we've got Honeywell here. And then this game, this day will be the World Cup third place match. And then the 19th will be the final. And then we will be done the World Cup. <clears throat> And then all we have to do is process an instant result ourselves up to the end of August. <clears throat> so about six weeks of it, I would say. About six, maybe seven, because it's, today's the 11th in the game. So it'll be July, July 11th to the end of August. So about seven weeks of it, and then we'll be underway with the season. So in terms of episodes for CLG, uh, FC, for those of you on YouTube, uh, if you're wondering, so this this current episode is 56.6, uh, and then we've got um, where are we at with our schedule? We got more football manager on Monday, <clears throat> so Monday we'll have another stream that'll be 56.7, and then we will come back on uh, Friday for 56.8. And if we're not in season four by Friday, we definitely will be for the stream on next Sunday, <clears throat> the 21st. We'll be there. Uh, that one's also going to be a com combination F124 plus uh, the uh, football manager. So, uh, and then of course we've got the Olympics. Are they next week? No, they're the week after next, aren't they? The week after next. So, 22nd, we have a stream. That'll be Football Manager. 24th, we have an evening stream. That'll be Football Manager. 25th, we have an even, evening stream. That'll be also Football Manager. <clears throat> we have a lot of Football Manager coming your way. Um, those are evening streams. And then on the 26th, which is the Friday, we will have opening ceremonies. Um, so we'll be watching opening ceremonies. I'll probably have it up on the, the spare laptop. I brought the spare laptop back down, uh, set it up again. So we have that. And then uh, from the 28th, so not that Saturday, not the night after opening ceremonies, but the Sunday, we'll be streaming from 7.30 in the morning to 9.30 at night. Every single day the Olympics is on, except for the final day which will be 5 a.m. to 11 o'clock at night. So there is, a, there is that. I, I absolutely freaking adore uh, the Olympics. Ken Griffith has signed a pre-contract. That's the goalkeeper we were looking at. Uh, so he's uh, yearly rage-wise of uh, literally going to be 12 quid. Promotion rage-wise of 36. And if he plays 10 games for the main time, uh, club, he goes up to for the main squad. He goes up to 150. If he plays 20, he goes up to 190. Uh, we have a one-year optional contract extension on him as well. Uh, I'm going to just take a real quick save here <clears throat> to get us into these semifinals. Sweden and England. So looking forward to this. So that, this means that literally starting from Monday, Next week, I'm streaming five nights, and then starting from Monday the 22nd, the following week, I'll be streaming one, two, three, four, five, five nights, and then it's just 
straight through seven days a week. I'm lo I'm looking forward to it. I'm really, 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 really looking forward to the Olympics. Sweden and England. I'm looking forward to this one too. Should be a good one. They say England's inevitable in FM. At least in this version of FM, England is inevitable. They didn't win the Euros, but they are here at the World Cup in the semifinal for a chance to get into the final for the first time in over in, in 60 years the first time in 60 years they have a chance to get into the world cup final here we are sweden this is how they line up one draw from their last five the rest all wins england here's how they line up here and they have also one draw but they've won four on the bounce and we'll see if sweden can cause what would be a huge huge upset or if it will be the English going through to play for just their second World Cup title. The English to kick us off. Scopes gets it underway. We are underway. World Cup semi-final. Sweden and England. Oh, what a ball through to Garbutt. Garbutt has a chance here early, and he's put England ahead 32 seconds into the game. What a ball. What a ball to him. It's a really good run, but it's just a fucking incredible ball from Brewer. This ball from Brewer. I mean, how has he done that? <laughs> I don't believe it. Maybe they are inevitable. The English lead 1-0. <coughs> Janssen will get it started to Lindg Lindgren. Janssen, what's up, Fast Eddie? They had, that, that had to be a mistake. That turned great. That, that was a fucking incredible ball, by the way. This is the World Cup semifinal. So... Uh, Spain, I mean, look, Sweden to get to a World Cup semifinal is fucking incredible. I don't know if they've ever been to a World Cup semifinal. Swedish national team. It's coming home. I... <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, Eddie. Eddie, you're fucking Philadelphia like me. Why you gotta say that? Why you gotta give the English any play, man? Have they made... Yes, they have made one... They have actually... So, Sweden surprisingly, has actually made four World Cup semifinals. <clears throat> 1938, 1950, 1958, and 1994. And, oh, it's the second for Garbutt. How's he? Garbutt's got a brace in the opening quarter of an hour. <clears throat> and the English are 2-0 up. It's Brewer again that provides him the ball. Brewer's got two. Oh, no. It's a mistake. Bergyall with the mistake. And Garbutt has made it 2-0 to the English. Here's Demir. Oh, it's taken right off him. Garbutt's got it. The English coming back again. That is going to be a foul, and it could be a yellow card. He hasn't booked them. But listen, the last game that we watched, the, the quarterfinal between... Oh, Garbutt. Oh, okay. Rosel has that one. The quarterfinal between the Dutch and the Netherlands, 100% the expectation was the Dutch were going to win that game. And they did. They were dominant in that game. But it's one of those things where it's like, if you're Korea and you make a World Cup quarterfinal, that's... You take that. You would, you would accept that every day of the week, right? Um, but I feel like it's the same for Sweden. If you're Sweden and you make a World Cup semifinal, you kind of accept that, right, if you were to go out at the stage. But maybe Sweden a little less so because they've been here before four times, but <clears throat> still. It should be good, too. The other semifinal is going to be a, a barn burner of a semifinal. That's going to be Netherlands and, and Spain. So, but how you been, Fast Eddie? Uh, 
Uh, here's oh, that's cut out by Luke. Oh, Dunn's still going to come down with it here. Dunn on the right. Dunn back for Meekin. Hayes, pretty good, just chilling, nice. Brewer, you know what I had today, Fast Eddie? You'll appreciate this. Philly soft pretzels. Ooh, they were good. Ooh, they were good. Fresh Philly soft pretzels, too. So good. <coughs> Chat, yeah, buddy, yeah. Yeah, the food is just... Philly food is just unrivaled, I'm sorry. Garbutt. He's been really good for England on the left. Brewer. Meekin. Oh, he's got plenty of space. Turns and shoots, and it's wide. It's a goal kick. Janssen. For Lindgren. For Nielsen. Trying to put one out wide. Yepsen's out there. His cross block corner given. Maybe Sweden with a chance here. Nice Nielsen. Uh, and uh, Wilding has that one. I've been craving Santucci's for the longest time. I think I'm spoiling myself today. Santucci's. Where's that at? Because I haven't been in the pizza. I haven't been in the. Uh, City for a while now. Oh, they got multiple locations. Oh, they're all over the city. Okay, there's a bunch of them across the Northeast. You know, I've never been to a Santucci's. I zoom real quick. I zoomed out, <clears throat> and it's they're showing me a Santucci's deli in. Uh, it's fire. I'll have to try it. I mean, they're kind of far. That's the only thing I can say is they're, they're kind of far uh, from where I'm at. Like, one is up in Mechanicsburg. There's no way I'm going up there. But that's that's like an hour. The other one's Paoli. Oh, what a save from Wilding. The other one's in Paoli. That's like an hour, hour and a half maybe. Uh, no, wait. Uh, Paoli's probably like an hour 15. There is one in, uh, it's not likely the same if they're out of Philly. Okay. Is this, are we talking to one in, uh, I, I guess that's Fairmont, right? Just north of Spring Garden, like, like around Spring Garden, or are we talking about the one, uh, like in South Philly? So, <clears throat> here's Dunn on the right. Dunn, oh, it's a good cross. Garbutt can't win the header. Yepsen, if it says Deli, it's not the one. You want Santucci's original square pizza. Okay, the only ones that I see for that is uh, 10, South 10th Street, which is like just north of Passyunk. And I see one that is uh, in, like, Fairmont area. But there is one that says Santucci's Original Square Pizza in Media. And that's the one I was going to say is closest to me, is the one in Media. But even then, Media is like an hour 15, maybe, an hour 5 about. Media is a little far. So... But, <clears throat> yeah, that would be legit then. Yeah, media is a bit far. Now, if I go to the Union game, I could probably stop and get some. But that would probably be about the only time when, I will say. So, they just had the best, it's square tomato pizza. Like a tomato pie? Because if, if it's a tomato pie, I know people who are 100% going to come for that. Uh, sauce on top. Oh, yeah. I know somebody who's going to love that. Absolutely love that. So, it's halftime at the World Cup England. 2 0 to the lead. Only 0.49 on the XG, but they have taken the better of their chances. And then we've got uh, 
Tobias Anderson in for Mattier Demir. England make two changes as well. They, he took Garbutt off. So I'm going to have to make a note of that, though. Santucci's original square pizza. I'll make a note of the locations, and then we're going to – I'm probably going to go. You know what? Uh, <coughs> at first, I just Googled Santucci's. I didn't put original square pizza. And I got a Santucci's deli that was in D.C. Now, one thing that D.C. has that I meant – well, it's D.C. area. It's really National Harbor, Maryland. It's not D.C. itself or Oxon Hill, Maryland, but it's 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 down there. It's on the other side of the Potomac from D.C., but they have a Nando's down there. And I don't know if you've ever been to Nando's, Fast Eddie. It's a traditionally a British chain, but it's also called, I think, Perry Perry Chicken. It's known as sometimes, but, but really it's Nando's. They are fucking phenomenal. I love Nando's. Nando's is amazing. I used to go to for an event, on which was always around Valentine's Day weekend down there. I used to go for this event, and they never been, but I know it's a chicken joint. And I, I hard heard we can finally get, we finally got a raisin canes. I haven't had raisin canes. I have had a bojangles, and I will say that's excellent. Bojangles was awesome. I loved it. Uh, <clears throat> so. I made fun of it. My friend's from Atlanta, and I made fun of it. I'm like, who the fuck calls their, their place Bojangles? What the hell kind of a name is that? And he was like, hey, don't you ever disrespect Bojangles. It's the best chicken place in the South. So I was in Atlanta, and I was I, my flight got delayed by like four hours. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm going to pop out, and I'm going to go to this... Uh, I'm going to go to this Bojangles, because I got a, a credit. He should be off sides. Yeah, he is. I had a credit from the airline because my flight got delayed. So I said, I'm going to pop out and go to Bojangles. Ooh. I text him. I'm like, you were right about Bojangles. That's all I was say. He's like, right? I was like, I had the, ch I had the chicken. I, it's so good. It's so good. But Nando's as well is really, really good. And there, there's not a lot of locations in the U.S. at all. Ooh, that one right across the face of goal. Um. It's really funny because I tweeted once a long, long time ago about this. And Nando's actually responded and were like, we have U.S. locations. Here they are. And I'm like, mate, you have like four locations. And I, it's not like the U.K. where if I drive two hours, I'm halfway to the other side of England. You know what I mean? Like, or if I'm in Scotland and I drive two hours, I can go from the bottom of Scotland to the top of Scotland. Like. It's not like that, <laughs> okay? If I drive two hours in the U.S., I'm in the same state still, <laughs> like, okay? So if you say, oh, we have we have locations in America, here they are, and it's two states away, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a bit too far, you know what I mean? Like, but it is really, really, really good. I will say that. So whenever I do go to, uh, to the event down there, which I haven't been in a few years, but... I, I think Barrett might be off here. He is not. So, ooh, opportunity for England to score a third, but it's put away. But, yeah, whenever I uh, – whenever I do go to that event down in National Harbor, I, I always make a note to go to Nando's because it's just excellent. Uh, they used to have a pot belly down there as well. I don't know if that's there anymore. That was really good as well. They used to have an elevation burger. I know that's not there anymore. Um, but – I couldn't I couldn't finish the challenge, man. I tried the Elevation Burger Challenge. I couldn't do it. The Elevation Burger Challenge is you buy the meal, and when they ask you how many patties you want, up to 10, you tell them 10, and you have to finish the milkshake, the fries, and the burger in one, in an hour. And I, I, uh, I got the fries done. I got the milkshake done. Oh, good tip. 10 patties is insane, yeah. I got the fries, I got the milkshake, I had eight patties of the burger, but I couldn't get the last two patties down, and I was like, I ate so much, 
I was I felt like I was gonna puke. So but I had to throw in the towel. I had to throw in the towel. I couldn't do it. So ten patties is insane though. It's like a fucking sixty dollar perk. <laughs> it's fucking so stupid. The things I did when I was younger, so dumb. That was like twelve years ago, okay? Like twelve maybe 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 like eleven or ten actually, but it was a while ago. Here's Barrett now running down the right. <clears throat> and he's just lost the ball. Okay. England 2 0. It's been one way traffic. Sweden have had a few chances, but nothing concrete. England have just taken the best of theirs. So. Here's Barrett. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Dunn's on sides. And that is gorgeous. VAR taking a look. I think he's on, though. He did not look off sides to me. Oh, he is off. He is off. That's got to be really close. So. It's a, it's not as close as I thought. I didn't realize that he had just finished his step forward. I thought when the ball got played, I thought he I thought he stepped after the ball got played. Because had he had he stepped after the ball got played, Dunn's very much on sides there. But I, I didn't realize that. All right, so it's still two nil. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, it's not a lot of great food joints around here. I will say. You scouting for talent or just enjoying the World Cup game? So, we, we, I actually did set my scout to scout about 50 players. But two things about the save, and that is it's a community save, so we use community members. Uh, exclamation point CLG for more information about that. Um, we, well, that's a great goal. Sweden have got one back late in here. Um, so we do play, but every off season or preseason, we watch, there's not, not the national squads, no, in our club, on our club, there's, uh, there's, uh, community members, um, so we do play the regular season, like August to, you know, May, or September to April, but every off season, we watch one tournament, so, like, the first, the first off season, we watched the Euros, uh, France beat Spain 1-0. Uh, in the second offseason, we watched the Gold Cup. Uh, the U.S. beat Canada 3-2. This is the third offseason. It's the 2026 World Cup, obviously. Uh, the next season, the next, we might do the Club World Cup, or we might do, like, the Gold Cup again. We might take a year off. I don't know. But every offseason, we spend watching one tournament. Um this is the, the, the 2026 World Cup this year. And then we'll be back in the regular season. I think it, I think August 27th or August 31st is the first date in game of the regular season. And we are on July 12th. So we're getting there. Um, <clears throat> but we play in, we're in level 17 this, this season coming up. We're in the Lancashire and Cheshire Amateur League Division 3. So it's a pretty cool concept. Yeah, I like it. I always like watching the the, the main tournaments, like the big tournaments. Um, so uh, I think it's I think it's fun. Um, but we are we are playing the game and we are way down there. <laughs> so we're in level 17, and we are uh, <clears throat> using community members as our players. So that's why you'll see a lot of these things like clubs making offers for them because they're like really talented youth like promising youth and it's like we're just denying all of them because they're meant to be CLG so CLG was a uh, an esports org counter logic gaming uh, and they died at the uh, middle of last year so uh, or I should say like the spring of last year and a lot of us CLG fans actually stayed, like, created another Discord for ourselves 
so we could stay in contact with each other after the org died. So there's about 250 of us now that are in that Discord that talk to each other pretty pretty daily, actually. Um, and <clears throat> Or at least weekly. And uh, those members of the Discord are in our team. So they're at least the starting 11. We don't have any subs, but the starting 11 is uh, is uh, community members. England, the, the 89th minute goal has not scared them uh, or undone them. Actually, Sweden came on pretty well in the end, actually. But it is the English 2-1 to one over Sweden. And the English have made their first World Cup final since 1966. So the first World Cup final in 60 years, they will play either Spain or the Netherlands. Uh, so it should be should be a good one. We are going to get to Spain Netherlands next, and then uh, we're going to instant result. We're going to instant result all the friendlies. Um, unlike last season when we played them all, I think we'll instant result them just to get through the, the off season quicker, um, because each game that when we play it has taken about 40 minutes. So uh, we are just going to kind of breeze through this uh i'm not taking any of these suggestions this is essentially my starting lineup brought and goal parks at the right back i'm a center back with jack lemon md frack also known as frack and fenwa by the way uh we we've nicknamed this guy frack and fenwa uh not in the game but that's what we call him uh so um <clears throat> There's Twinkle, Cookies, Spaps, Akoni Kun, Shimas, and Snicky. All former, all CLG fans, of course, myself being one as well. So, uh, let's uh, get into the second semifinal: Spain and the Netherlands. We're gonna play. We're gonna play out that match. We're gonna instant result this one. And then that might be it for us. If we have time, we'll get up to the Honeyball game, and I'll, I'll sim that. But I don't think we're going to get to the third place game or the uh, World Cup final tonight. I think that will be for the next stream, um, which will be Monday. So Monday, I do have a schedule. It does. Uh, it is um, uh, on the Twitch channel. So if you click my name. And then, then you go to the schedules tab. You'll see the schedule all the way through. It's set all the way through to, for a month. So uh, all those upcoming streams uh, and what we're playing. So we're going to be playing a little bit of F124, which we did earlier today. We're going to play it Tuesday as well, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we're going to play it, <coughs> um, I believe, on the Saturday, Sunday, next Sunday as well. Um, and we're also going to play some F1 2012 because I want to – finish the old uh game uh maximum allowed is good so thank you uh parks that offers decline cookies that offers decline uh, so we are we do i do want to finish f1 2012 i have about 17 races left i think in f1 2012 before i actually have finished all five seasons of career mode in that game so i, I am going to have i think i have about three streams with that game coming up um so I'm going to probably try to power through two or three of those races on those streams. I actually do also want to make, uh, I have a, a few Excel documents I want to work on, which I know sounds boring. Do not get me wrong, but um, I have some documents I want to work on for the upcoming seasons. Uh, they will help keep track of things. Uh, for the upcoming season. I'll show you what I mean in a, a few later streams. So uh, I know the domestic season for uh, the Premier League is like the, set, the, the 16th, 15th. I know the Championship League 1, League 2 is the 9th. And, um, <clears throat> or the 8th, something like that. 9th, 10th, I think, something like that. Um, I know for a lot of the lower leagues, actually, in England, they're starting their seasons uh on the third august 3rd actually the team that i'm the club that i'm going to be sponsoring reached out to me and said hey if you want to sponsor us that's great we need the money we would like the money by the third because it's uh the start of the season so um i uh 
I know that, that really much once August hits, boom, it's the start of the season. So for a lot of the lower leagues, especially the lower, more expansive ones that are going to be playing 46 games or whatnot, uh, they're going to stretch that season out. So, um, <clears throat> so we are underway here with our second semifinal, Spain, Netherlands. And Spain looked really good. The Dutch really handled Korea very well. Uh, but we'll see who can uh, uh, come out on top. Spain looking for their first final since 2010. And uh, the Netherlands looking for their fourth final. And uh, their first one in, I think, over 30 years. Or no, since 2010 as well. So it's a rematch of the 2010 final. So... <clears throat> Uh, let's see Navarro here for Spain triples brilliantly by his guy Garcia Navarro back to Calvo Calvo has it lines it gives it to Hermida Hermida's got some, oh, I was going to say continue your run Hermida can put you in but Hermida didn't pick his head up didn't see it now it's back to Stefan on the right it's going forward Navarro and the Spanish have taken the early lead Just inside a quarter of an hour. And it's the Spanish. Who draw first blood in this semifinal. The round of 16 games, you could say they were dire since then. <coughs> the World Cup's really heated up. <coughs> and we've got ourselves a 1-0 lead for Spain. To lunch. Van Leeuwen. Back to Brands. Over to Van Leeuwen. Cut out by Hermida. Who's done well to win it. Hermida then gifts it away to Dryasen. Was the player of the match. or I shouldn't say player of the match. He wasn't. But he was one of the more dominant players in the match versus Korea. We'll need to do more so today. Here's Calvo. He's cut that out. Garcia to Stefan on the right. Cuts it back. Ismail, what a save from Jensen. A huge save. A really good stop of the run <clears throat> to just create the space for that shot. But Jensen has done very well to turn that aside. Here's Stefan on the corner, and it's headed away. Navarro, he's actually knocked it out for a throw. And so the pressure. So far alleviated from the Dutch. They are 1-0 down. Here's Dryasen over to Samson. He's got nobody who's spread out to give him the ball. So it has to go back to Brands. They need to stretch here, the Netherlands. They need to spread. Brands brings the ball to the right. And he does well to win the corner off that deflection. So... <coughs> Here's DeGroff with the corner. Rueda will head it clear. Springer heads it back, but Alves will grab it. We continue on. 31st minute here. The Dutch now. Brands. Van Leeuwen. Back to Brands. Really good pass to Van Leeuwen for a dry ascent who's from running in, and it's just wide. Alves diving for it, but it's just flew by his post. And the Dutch... Now knocking on the door, trying to avenge themselves from 2010. A date with the English in the final awaits. Here's DeGroff. DeGroff at the flex. And Alves still gets enough to put it behind. Here's Dryasen with the corner. Whipped in Rada. We'll head it clear. Brands now will come down with it. Samson to Springer. Delange. Back to Brands. Brands. Gives it to Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen with a cross here. He's maybe put up in the air when it needed to be on the ground. And the Spaniards will clear it. They can break. Navarro bringing it up the field on the right-hand side. Might have options here. And he's just found Ismael in the center. Ismael. Calvo. Nobody could find the overlapping run. And Delange has taken it off of him. Back for Van Leeuwen. Den Boyer 
Dan Boyer over to Janssen. Janssen is cut out by, oh, no, Garcia tried to cut it out, but it's still kept there. Here's a free kick for Mulder and the Dutch. It's meant for our post. Rueda will head it down, but Van Lumen will run it down. And now here comes the cross over for DeGraff. Is that a penalty? Yes. It's been given. VAR looking at it. It looked like it could be a little soft, but it is given in the end. <clears throat> and DeGroff with a penalty to put the Dutch back on level terms. See what saved in the previous round, and this one is as well. Alves puts it aside. That's a huge opportunity that's gone missing here for the Dutch. Dryason will take the corner. It's whipped in. It's fallen all the way through, and Navarro will clear it. It's a dangerous ball, but the opportunity's gone wasted. DeGroff here with a free kick. He's floated that in. Mulder on the back post, and Alves will glove it. Here's Stefan for Jose Luis. Stefan, Garcia, DeGroff. Van Leeuwen. Oh, he's found a good ball over to Brands on the right-hand side. Brands can continue to run. Caddy. Brands gets the cross, and Rueda will knock it down. Gives it back to Cassis. Hermida now on the on the right-hand side. Too heavy a touch. Brands will actually run that down. And now the Dutch trying to build again. Samson. Springer. DeLange. Back for Brands, Delange, Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen trying to find De Graaf. Does so, but a too heavy a touch. Van Leeuwen comes down with it. Tries to give it back in the middle for De Boer. And now the Dutch will have to settle it again and build again. Here's Mulder now. Trying to bring it up on the left now. Jensen finds De Boer between the lines. De Boer, what can he do? Finds De Graaf. He is pushed off the ball. And it rolls all the way through to Alves. Dutch really asking questions of the Spanish, but they have not been able to find a way through. It is 1-0 at the half for the Spaniards. The Dutch get us back underway here in the second. Dryason. Mulder. Samson. Delange. For Van Leeuwen, De Graaf. Oh, he's knocked off the ball by Cassis. A little momentum bar. The Dutch are playing great. They just need to find the back of the net. Spain make a substitution here. Here's Stefan with a throw in now. In the 60th minute. Cordoba, Garcia, back to Jose Luis. <clears throat> Alves. Cassis. Calvo. Hermida to Gonzalez. And now he has space to bring it a little forward a little bit more. Van Leeuwen makes a tackle, but Hermida comes down with it still. Hermida running with it. Hermida, the cross. Samson cuts it out. Up for De Boer, but the Spaniards come down with it. Here's Navarro. Calvo. Gonzalez might be on there. Should be on Gonzalez. And it's a tough chance for him to handle. He's hit it way off target. Couldn't quite get keep the foot down on the volley. <clears throat> Van Leeuwen, too heavy a touch. Now Hermida here with it. 68th minute. Ross comes in. Garcia. Granado. Navarro. Gonzalez. And Brands has cut that out for a corner. DeGraff will come off for Van Lu. He'll be kicking himself for that missed penalty. Mulder's headed cleared. Jensen will come down with it. 
<clears throat> Here's Hermida, 71st minute. Cordoba, Molinos. Hermida, Cassius. Jose Luis. Parieras. Parieras? Pa 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 Parieras. I don't know, the, the, the L, the double L is like a Y sound, so. Hermida, Gonzalez, Cupers. Gonzalez has it now, Gonzalez, and he's hit the side netting. Jansen get it, getting a fingertip to it. <clears throat> Here's Gonzalez. That's going to be out for another corner. Gonzalez. Whipped in Jose Luis. That's a great header from Jose Luis. And Van Lu will clear it. Navarro. Garcia. Molinos. Casillas. Back to Jose Luis. Tries to play a ball over the top. That's going to go out for a goal kick. Dutch running out of time. They only need a goal here to get back on level terms. 75th minute, Van Luren, Samson. Back to Van Luren, Springer. They try to bring the ball forward. Brandt. Springer to Van Luren. He's got some space now. Finds Dryason. Dryason. Oh, in for Van Luren. Van Luren shoots. Van Luren has scored. And the Dutch have finally found themselves back on level terms. It's not over until it's over. The Dutch have leveled this up. Certainly more than deserving given the way they've played this game. And now all to play for. Here's Spain, Navarro. Looking to get a cross in. Samson will knock it down. <coughs> ben Lou with a free kick here right on the 81st minute. Ball gets whipped in. It's going to get knocked around. Cordova could get to this. Bender Grup has done well. Dryas in here. Back to Vander Grup. For De Boer, for Jensen, it's knocked off his feet by Paredes. Kulpers to Brandt. Van Luren, but Cassius has cut it out. And Alves boots it upfield. Samson wins the header. Here's Jensen. Vendergrop. That's the end of the highlight. 84th minute. Van, Van Luren, Dryason, Van Lu, France, Van Lu, to Cupers. And Gonzalez cuts it out. Brands made a good tackle to keep it, though, in the attacking third. Brands fighting tooth and nail for it. Where's the cross coming in? It's going to go all the way back to Van Lu, and it's knocked out for a Dutch throw. Another Dutch throw, opposite side of the field, 86th minute. Endergrop, Jansen, Dryasen's here. Dryasen! Oh, and it's knocked down. And Navarro will clear it, but only as far as Brands. Brands, back to Kupers. Kupers. Brands, here comes the wicked cross back post. Nobody can get to it. English are going to be loving this if it goes to extra time. Here's Van Lu. Samson. Samson, Dryasen. And he's off sides.
Here's Jose Luis for Spain. Navarro. And here's Paredes. Over, a cross comes in. Granado has it. Jensen will glove that. Granado's offside anyway. That is the end of full, that's full time. We go to extra time. Two 15-minute periods to separate these two. If it cannot be, we will go to pens. Cassius, Hermida, Spain to start here with the ball. Here's Gonzalez. Cut out by Cupers. And that is the end of the highlight. Kickoff highlight, of course. Here's the 94th minute. Vandergrupp. Dryason. DeBoer, I think he was off sides, and he was. DeWitt has come in. Vandergrupp. For the Dutch now. Back to Samson. Dryason. Mensa, DeBoer, Van Luren on the left. Got space. Back to Van der Grupp. Back to Dryason. This one's going to come all the way back to Samson. Samson's giving it all the way back to Jensen. Oh, my God. This is Southgate-type football. Fuck's sake. Back to DeWitt. DeWitt. Dryason. And just, just for that to get cut out. Like, fuck off, guys. Hermida, Cordova. David Granado is on, and that is a big save from Jensen. Out for a corner for the Spanish here. Hermida takes it. It set it up. Gonzalez is going to have it. That is going to look like it stayed in, and Jensen will glove that, though. Here's Hermita with the free kick. DeWitt has headed it down. Hermita will grab it again. Over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez. The sure turn the shot off the post. And Ivan Gonzalez has put the Spaniards up in extra time. A curling effort off the inside of the bar. What a finish. from about 15 yards out. What a curler. Jensen, no chance. And the Spaniards lead again. The Dutch with 22 minutes to save their season. A foul by Cassius. Here's Van Loo with a free kick, and oh, Alves was equal to the task. Armida knocks it down. Here's Gonzalez. Cordova. Gonzalez, what a ball out for him. On the left, Gonzalez. Gets a cross in, and that's just headed wide by Rodriguez. 101st minute now. Cassius heads it down for Cordova, but it's given away. Here's Cupers. Cooper's with it on the right. Can, oh, that's a bad slide. Referee's going to let play go on there. It's back for Dryasen, who can't settle it. Cordova clears it. Van Lu runs it down for the Dutch. Van Lu, what can he do? Oh, he is almost tripped off the ball. And this time he loses it. Ziggurath 
can't hear you because there's lots of people around just saying hi. All right, Zig, thank you for coming around. So, and Alvis has that the whole way. <clears throat> oh, Vandergrupp can't get to that. David now Cordoba in. He's on sides. Cordoba's got an option. Cordoba tries to take him himself as the wrong option. And it's going out for a corner. He had the cutback, man, and the whole goal. It would have been 3-1. Job done. Final secured. Instead, he went for it himself. And now it's only a corner for the Spanish. Hermida now. Takes it in Molinos. And he skipped the top of the net with it. Two huge opportunities for the Spanish to put this one away. And they have not quite yet. <clears throat> Oh, that one's going to fall through to DeBoer. DeBoer, too heavy a touch. And it's knocked back to Alves. David. Cordoba. Back to Garcia. Molinos. Molinos. Back to Hermida. Hermida. He's going to have a crack from distance. It looked like he might want to. Hermita will take it wide, though. Cooper's trying to push him off the ball. Eventually will. Back to Paredes. Over to Rodriguez. Off the post. Offsides anyway. And that is half time of extra time. The Dutch. Look at the momentum and how strong it's been for the Dutch, right? Throughout the 90 minutes. And it's only one one it was only one one. They're actually trailing now. Van Lu. Spain have been a better team in this extra time now. Coopers. And Gonzalez takes that off his feet. Absolutely pick his pocket with it. Hundred and seventh minute. Paredes. Cordoba. David. <clears throat> Back to Garcia. Bolanos. Gonzalez winds and fires and shoots, but it goes off a defender. It will be out for a throw. Armida, Cordoba finds Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Can Gonzalez finish? No. Jensen with a great save to keep the Netherlands in this. Time becoming of the essence for the Dutch. The only problem with having the soft pretzels is now you get really tired really quick. <laughs> I will say. David <clears throat> will run this one down. It'll go back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez bringing it forward. What a run from Gonzalez. And Rodriguez is there. And the Spanish should be through. Rodriguez scores a great run from Gonzalez. Twice in extra time for the Spaniards. 3-1 up with just over 11 minutes to play. Just a good run. Just a great run from Gonzalez. Good ball. Rodriguez is wrong side is man. And uh, really right side for him. But the defender is wrong side. That is going to be a tap-in all day, every day. The Spaniards 3-1. It's taken extra time, but they are on their way to their second World Cup final to meet the English. Van Lu puts it in. Coopers is here. They've got less than 10 minutes plus whatever added time. <coughs> Coopers. Coopers takes it to himself. Coopers has scored. And the Dutch are back in it. They need a goal. What a run from Coopers. Holy moly. A World Cup semifinal that is slated to become an instant classic. 
The Dutch need another goal to secure penalties at a minimum. Spain, if they score, certainly it will be over. Here's David. David with the cross. That one's going all the way through to the front of goal. De Witt will clear it. Van Luren will have it. Can the Dutch find one more? Here's Cassius. Oh, it's cut out by Van Loo. Mensa has it now. Mensa, what can he do with it? It's booted clear by Van Loo. Van Luren has it. Keeping it up to De Boer. It's knocked through. Mensa's there. Mensa, can he score? Mensa, and it's saved by Alves. And it was the opportunity of a lifetime for Mensa <clears throat> to get the Dutch level. Dryasen whips it in. Cassius heads it down. Coopers can't get to it. Rodriguez heads it clear. It'll go out for a throw. What a game this has turned out to be. Vanderkop, Den Boer, Dryasen. Dryasen. His pass cut out by uh, Cordova, but Den Boer wins the tackle. Van Lu long range, and it skips over the top of the net. Pareras. Oh, almost cut out there. Jose Luis will want it down. Cordoba, Garcia, David. Over the top. DeWitt heads it clear. Dryson can't get to it. Pareras will. Pareras with the cross. It's going for Rodriguez. Berger gets ahead to it. Gonzalez puts it back in, and Jensen will grab it. Less than five minutes at added time for the Dutch. Jose Luis down to Gonzalez for Rodriguez, for Garcia. Really good ball movement. Garcia, I uh, uh, believe Rodriguez was offside. Van der Grupp on the throw. Here's Van Leeuwen. Here's a cross. And Alves has it. <coughs> Time ticking away. 119th minute. Here's Hermida. Cordova. Jansen will grab it. Certainly, you got to think about two minutes of added time will be coming in. Oh, Mensa's taking it down. Lovely stuff. He sold his man. Mensa, what can he do with it here? The cross comes in. De Boer, is he off sides? No, it's going to be headed out for a corner. That's exactly what we get. Two minutes of added time here. The 120th minute. Dryason whips it in, and Alves grabs it Cooper's knocked off the ball by Hermida Molinos comes up with it here's Garcia we're into the first of two added minutes Rodriguez has David making a run on the right David trying to knock it past this man they need to win the ball the Dutch they need to get this ball back David now Garcia for Paredes Paredes free to make the cross back post Berger heads it clear can Cooper's run that down? No. Hermita will get to it. Berger with a good cutout. Now, can the Dutch counter? Oh, there's a ball over the top. Jose Luis will put it towards the touchline. David comes down with it. Pareras, Garcia, Molinos. <clears throat> they have less than a minute here, the Spanish. Rodriguez out wide. That might be offsides. It's not. <clears throat> Rodriguez, can he get the cutback? It is. Cordoba coming late. Van der Grupp will head it down. Now the Dutch have to break. And we're into the 123rd minute. And De Boer, Van Lu, they need to get this ball forward. Van der Grupp. And it's the refs not giving him the time. It's over. The Spanish are through after a crazy game. The Spaniards will face the English for the FIFA World Cup final. Third place game will be Netherlands and Sweden. Do we need to watch third place game? I don't think I'll watch third place game. I think we're going to watch just Spain and, and England. So, and that is that. 
It'll be Spain, the Euro champions, and England. Both nations fighting for just their second World Cup. We're going to instant result CPD Granite. And then uh, we will be out of here, uh, basically. So, because uh, 17 minutes, believe it or not, is not enough to get through five days. 17 minutes will get us up to probably Honeywell United. Um, just because it's a very large database with every country turned on plus the level 20 uh, extension. Uh, only countries not turned on are Belarus and Russia. So... Uh, the Colonizers World Championship. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, it's a 394,000 player database, I think. So it is a big fucking database, man. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go to the weekly staff meeting. We'll do training. We'll stop individual training. That's fine. Uh... It is a very large database. Let's see. Uh, not bad. Like, not bad. Like, Webster and Amos were the only players that would want to sign. I thought mine was crazy. I saw a database the other day that was, like, twice the size of mine. I was like, holy fucking shit. So... God, look at this progress. Oh my good lord. Uh, I, I'm i going to wait on Douglas. I, I kind of want my under-18s manager to have a, a badge before I get anybody up to national level C. Uh, if I go to add remove leagues. Oh, it's up to 410 now. So it's a 410,000 player database. These are all the leagues that are selected as playable. So I could actually start knocking off the leagues, but I'm not going to. Uh, so you can see pretty much everywhere. Uh, sounds like I need to add a button. You don't, otherwise your processing time will be forever now this is a pretty powerful pc don't get me wrong this is a very powerful pc it has a 3070 in it or 3080 right uh 3080 ti mind you it has like a 12 750 h processor very powerful processor it has 32 gigs of ram um it still takes about an hour Really, not an hour. I would say about 45 minutes to go seven days. It takes 45 minutes to go a week. So, and that's, that is, my league needs the extra bodies. That is, um, oh yeah, because you're, you're bu literally building the team from scratch. So, yeah. I got a Ryzen 7800X3D. It shouldn't have much of an issue to add on some extras. I mean, it's just a large amount of processing, really. That's that's what it is. If you do viewable, it would be even better for them. I do playable for all those leagues. So, uh, leagues in focus. Let's end with leagues in focus. We like to do leagues in focus every episode and just look at the top six, for really five divisions in England, the division above us, and MLS. Uh, right now, nobody started except MLS. Montreal is top by 11 still. Then it's DC. What the hell they do to get up there? Yeah, I'd probably just make sure the most obscure are viewable. Fair enough. NYCFC are third. Miami fourth. Chicago fifth. Phillies dropped to sixth. Columbus is seventh. New England eighth. Atlanta United is ninth. Toronto are three points out with two games in hand uh, looking in. Nashville are the worst team in MLS. Uh, at the West, it's the Galaxy at the top by eight. Then it's Sporting Kansas City, Real Salt Lake, Vancouver, Portland, LAFC, who have slipped down to sixth. Austin, Minnesota, and Colorado. San Jose are outside by a point. And FC Dallas are at the bottom. All the other leagues have not yet to start. So that's the quick leagues in focus. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Look at the fucking transfer value. No way I can afford that. Uh, the wage isn't bad here. Um, it's a little bit much, but 
That's not too bad. Compensation. Okay. Uh, Oliver Rowland says, okay, according to the medical report, here's all the friendlies. Let's go into the team selection. Snicky is obviously hurt. So we're going to uh, swap McCundy, and Snicky is going to be dropped for Ayrton Dempsey. Oh, no. Yeah, Ayrton Dempsey. So Snicky will be back when they are not hurt. We will simulate the match. Yes. Yes. McKendy's confused. I don't know why. You're asked to play the role of striker, mate. So. Uh, and we won 6 1. Motherfucker was confused and he. Oh, he missed a goal. Yeah, it, it's a disallowed goal. He was. McKendy's like, I'm confused. And yet he still got on the score sheet via an assist. Spaps, myself, Akoni Kuhn, then Kelly to make it 3 1. Akoni Kuhn again right before half. And then Sheamus and Twinkle. 37 shots to 2. 5.67 XG to 0.06. Wow. They had literally had two shots, only one on target. They scored on it. Fucking hell. Uh, but, all right, that is that. And um, let us save the game. So we've won two opening friendly, 7-0 and 6-1. You'll love this. I started an FM Mobile 2020 union save trying to rewrite history. First transfers into the club. Was getting rid of Bendik, signing Okugo, and Fafa Picault. We've got Picol, Fafa Picol. I just don't think you understand. <clears throat> I, I love Fafa Picol. Um, so he still loves Philly too. He says that they were, they've treated him right, those fans, and and that we very much agree. Uh, you know, he was he's done. He was great for us for years. Um, I will say, uh, fuck. Would you? Uh, what do they call it? Um. <laughs> so fair play on the FM 2020 mobile, right? I'm trying to get Carranza before he gets to Miami. There you go. We just sold him to fucking what's his face? Fenniord as well. Um, I actually, uh, started this. <laughs> I, I have an offline save. I'm playing of FM, right? It's FM 10. Okay. MLS has like 16 teams in it. <laughs> like <laughs> Philly, st Philly don't even exist in that game because FM 10 released in 2009, which was literally five, six months before the union even existed. So the union aren't in FM 10. Uh, LAFC is not in there. Orlando's not in there. Uh, I don't think Minnesota's in there. Uh, I think it's like LA Galaxy, San Jose, Real Salt Lake, Colorado, Dallas, Houston, Portland, Seattle in the West. And then I think the East are uh, the Revs, the Red Bulls, the Crew, DC United, uh, Sporting Kansas City. Trying to think of who else is in the East. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me go to Leagues and Focus. Actually, I might be able to tell you uh, who's in the East in that game. Montreal, D.C., Chicago, Columbus, New England, Toronto, and the Red Bulls. And then the West in that game is the Galaxy, Kansas City, Salt Lake, Vancouver, Portland, Colorado, San Jose, Houston, Seattle, and Dallas. So I think one of these two, I think if you swap Kansas City to the East, that makes it 9-9. Nine and nine. And I think that's what it is. Because I remember Kansas City used to be in the East. Chief Oz, don't forget. Uh, you're right. I think Chief Oz was in that game, actually. Uh, I could launch it real quick. I mean, it's pretty easy. But yeah, you're right, Chivas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh God. <laughs> so, um, but uh, we're gonna have a quick save, and that is gonna do it. I'm gonna look for because I only got eight minutes left of my uh, allocated time that I gave for streaming today. So, 
Um, that's what that timer is there for. Um, but uh, let's see who's left. Uh, let's see who is live real quick. Um, uh, Toxic Bunny's live. She's a she's a fun streamer. Uh, nobody I know who's playing football manager is playing football manager. So we might send you to TV, actually. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so... Give her some love. She's a fun streamer. She's a just chatting streamer. So no football manager. <laughs> the OG LAFC. Yes. Uh, I think that's. Oh God, it's it's all fucked up. The spelling. Hold on. Uh, of course I can't type. Uh, good Lord. T O X I C. And then it's K B U K B U N N Y. So big thank you for those. Oh fuck, I don't have enough viewers to raid her. God damn it, these fucking partnered streamers. I swear to God, um, I get why they do it though. So I don't have anybody to 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 send you off to really. Um, I'll send you off to Big Rig because he's a brand new streamer. He just got affiliate the other day. So congratulations, congratulate him on affiliate, will you? We'll send you there. That's a nice way to go. We will send you there. He's doing he's doing GTA RP. So uh, if you hear anything on a stream that's bad because it's GTA RP, I apologize. But uh, brand new stream. I found him just literally last week and he got affiliate. So congratulations to him. Give him your congratulations. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to be back on Monday with some more Football Manager. For those on the YouTube, this was CLGFC episode 56.6. We'll see you for 56.7. And for those on Twitch, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you Monday night. Until then, enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care.